This is my own oboe, which is a French oboe made by Loret. It's called Etoile, uh, which means, of course, the star. Um, it's got, as you can see, quite a lot of silver work on it. It's very beautiful, um, made from African blackwood and pingo, from um, Tanzania, probably. And the reed is sort of normal reed. But this instrument here, this beautiful thing, is the 1911 Loré oboe that was made for Leon Goossens, the great British oboist, um, and bought for him by his father when he was a child. And this oboe, which is in the possession of his daughter Jenny, and she's very kindly lent it to me, um, is the instrument that all of these pieces were written for. I've not recorded all the pieces on this because it's pre preferable for me to have my own instrument, but I thought that the Delius works would be great to record this because in, on this instrument because in a way the very sound of it is exactly what Delius would have known. It's true of the other pieces too, but I'm happier on this one for those ones. So let me show you some of the differences and play you the difference. So my own instrument... Mm, And then the Goosen's oboes, you see it's much, much thinner. It's got much less metal work. The key there is just a tiny button, raised button. But it's made of the same wood just 100 years earlier. There's something incredibly special about playing this. It's like playing something, it's so light and the sound is so much more clean and, and in a way bright. Um, it's not something that ears today are terribly used to. Uh, so it's a very different feeling to play it. But, and also each note tends to have a slightly different color, but that's partly what's so beautiful about it. I think that my favorite note on it are the two Cs. It's interesting that many of the pieces that we've recorded have got beautiful entries on C's. Or finishing on a very long C. So that is the Goosen's Lorre next to mine. <laughs>